Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Sorry if it's a little noisy in the background. I have my window open in my living room because it is such nice September weather. Today is Wednesday, September 8th. It is like almost 8.30 in the morning. And I really just kind of got up and started doing some things. I had a video that I needed to upload and just like some quick things to check off my list. I'm literally just working from the couch right now. This is my little work from couch setup. I feel like I just filmed that in the most awkward way. This is my work from couch setup. So I have my little seat table, my Stalogy notebook, pens, phone, coffee, you know the usual. Also started the day drinking a ton of water. I love this water jug. I will link it in the description box. I'm just getting started on a really hydrated note. So heavy though. Um, and yeah, just really jumped into my list. But now I'm going to take a quick pause. I'm going to read today's Purpose Driven Life Day. I'm super, not behind, because you can't get behind in a devotional or whatever. But I just like have not been reading this lately. And I feel like I should, could be further along. So I'm going to read... Um, one of those for the day and then I do want to start working from my desk I just need to tidy my desk first so I thought that I would start a vlog today and just do some like productive days in my life I have some deadlines I need to hit today and just like some things I need to check off like my master to-do list this week so I thought I would bring you all along for that productive hopefully productive ride so my goal today is honestly just to get as much done without like burning myself out over the weekend, I had, I don't know if it was like food poisoning or I know it was something that I ate for sure. And I was just like out basically for most of the weekend with like the worst stomach pains and other things that I will spare you the descriptions of. But yeah, I'm feeling better. I was able to like eat normally yesterday. So my stomach feels like pretty much back to normal, which is why I am drinking a coffee this morning. That's like the hardest thing anytime I'm sick, I'm like, even not that I need a coffee necessarily, but it's just like the ritual of making a coffee, sitting down to have my coffee. Like I just love that experience. And when you can't have that, it just like completely throws off my mornings. So I'm going to sit, do my devotional and journal, and then I'll probably work from the couch for a little bit just on this like first thing that I need to check off the list. And then I will go tidy up the desk and work from there for the rest of the day because I definitely am way more productive when I'm at my desk ignore all the books behind me I filmed a video the other day and just never put things away I also need to tidy the living room so maybe we can do that today as well but yeah I've been starting and stopping so many vlogs and I'm like determined to just see this vlog to the end so welcome back to another one Hates it, absolutely hates it. <laughs> it's okay. I was cleaning a little bit, and I realized that. These two pots are obviously like not being used. This fern is 
a done bun for sure. So if you have recommendations for an easy to keep alive house plant, I have like, like I do really well with snake plants. That plant is obviously fake. This aloe is simultaneously dying and thriving. Um, back there, I believe that's like a form of a pothos. I have another pothos that's doing really well. So if you have suggestions for an easy to keep alive house plant that I can pick up maybe over the weekend, please let me know because I would love to sort these out and bring some more life back into the window, especially because fall is coming. So less things will be in bloom around the city, obviously, but there used to be a snake plant in this pot and then I had to repot him. And now that one's in my bedroom. And then this was obviously a fern that was gifted and just did not, I mean, like as soon as it got here, I basically died. I don't know why I'm wasting this soil on it. So yeah, let me know your plant suggestions that can live in this window. Okay, so I just stopped to make a little bit of lunch and I'm gonna show you guys this lunch that I've been making for a couple of tries now and I am very obsessed with. So I just have like a burger bun here and I put kale, this cucumber kefir dressing from Trader Joe's, and some crumbled feta all together. Those two together are just like so delicious. And then I top it with a shrimp burger from Trader Joe's. This is a very Trader Joe's lunch that I'm having right now. All right, we did it. The only other thing I sometimes add to this is the Trader Joe's spicy Zoog sauce. I put it on everything, it's so amazing. And then my mom got me an air fryer a few weeks ago and I am obsessed with it. I probably honestly could have threw the burger in here if I wanted to, but I just made some fries. The air fryer makes them perfect every time. My air fryer is really small because I don't have a ton of space as you can see, but I will link the one I have. I think it's also available in another size, like a larger size, but literally makes everything fried, like not even fried, just like things like this that are quick, perfect every time. So I just cut up these fries and I'm gonna have them with my shrimp burger. Okay, lunch is ready. So now I'm just gonna sit and take a break and eat before I have my next meeting. I need to check a few more things off my list. We are getting to it and getting it done today, which is good because there's a lot to get done. Also, when you're having fries, do you put your ketchup on the fries or do you dip on the side? I prefer to dip, but if they're on the fries, I won't be upset about it, but team dip. As you can see, I'm still working from the couch. I did have to take my sweatshirt off because it is definitely not true fall yet. Um, it got really warm. I'm wearing some old merch, not this random face mask on my couch. This is old merch um, from my last merch drop. I'm planning a another merch drop. It's coming up very, 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 very soon. Um, but should I bring this one back too? I do love this design. Let me know what you think. So yeah, I made an ice latte because I'm about to jump on a call. I also refilled my water bottle because we love to be hydrated, but now I'm about to jump on a Zoom with Phoebe. We do a weekly writing meeting. If you've missed some recent videos, we're working on a novel together. We usually do them on Fridays, but because we've both kind of been in a writing rut, we decided to add an extra meeting this week just to do some writing sprints together. And then, yeah, just kind of get caught up on our project and get re-inspired for this work that we're doing because it's such an amazing story. So I have coffee, I have water. I also have jalapeno cheddar Cheetos, which is an elite snack in case you need some junk food motivation. I'm definitely PMSing, so I want all the junk right now. But yeah, I'm about to hop on the Zoom with Phoebe and then I will catch up with you all in a bit.
Okay, I feel like I've exclusively been in this corner on my couch today, but I just ended up working from the couch for the whole day. It is what it is, at least work still happened, and that's really all that matters. But I'm going to wrap up the vlog tonight, pick things up in the morning when I'm back at it, but I did wanna show you what I made for dinner because it actually came out amazing. Okay, so I know it looks very gross and it's kind of hard to see all the components. Let me move things around for you. So basically I did couscous and then I added some steamed kale to it. And then on top of that, I put that Trader Joe's kefir, cucumber kefir dressing. I put some of the Trader Joe's green zoog sauce, some feta, and some chicken. So that's kind of like the bowl dish. And then I just blistered some shoshito peppers in the air fryer. And voila, dinner. It's like basically like a Mediterranean-ish kind of bowl. And it's very yummy, even though it looks kind of gross. I also have a very small glass of wine because I deserve. And right now I'm just going to probably work a little bit on my iPad because I have a shoot tomorrow that I'm doing just to shoot some new content. Actually gonna shoot the pictures for the new merch relaunch. Um, it's all stuff that you've seen just redone in a way that I think looks a lot better. So I'm shooting that in the morning. Um, and I'll of course vlog that. And now it is Wednesday, so that means it is Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Day. I get to watch Erica Jane get dragged for an hour basically. So I'm gonna rewatch last week's episode and then watch the new episode while I eat dinner and have my wine and then shower and get ready for tomorrow. So I will pick the vlog up back in the morning. on the couch I just made a second coffee still have not had the motivation to take my hair out of this towel but we're still here I really needed a second cup of coffee so I realized that I let this entire vlog almost go by without giving you all um, a good reading update so over the weekend when I wasn't feeling well I was able to finish freed by E.L. James which is the first book in the 50 Shades of Grey series told from Christian's perspective. I gave the book a 3 out of 5 stars. It's probably like a 3 out of 5, 3.5 out of 5. I never read the original 50 Shades of Grey books. I just read or rather I just watched the movies and I didn't really have like strong feelings about them but I felt like it was a fun book. A lot of steaminess. Um, and yeah, I feel like I've seen some of the criticism for it, but I think if you're into that genre of book, you will enjoy those books. And it was interesting to read a dark romance from a male perspective because most romance is from the female perspective. So it was interesting. But now I have switched. If you are caught up on videos, I did post earlier this week my september tbr ish my top of the pile video and i've started reading from the pile so i have on my kindle the song of the forever reigns by ej mello which is the first book in the musai series that she's written i'm not far in i'm 32 pages in on kindle and so far i'm liking it but it's not like i just haven't been focused on reading i haven't been giving myself enough time i've really only been reading for like 
five to ten minutes before I fall asleep at night which is why I've been reading this for like three days and I'm 32 pages in so what I want to do right now it's around three o'clock I don't have another call until 4 45 so I have a little bit of time and I got quite a lot done today so I'm going to just take the next like 30 minutes and read this see how I'm really feeling it if I need to switch books and yeah I'll let you know how it goes I'll be reading and sipping coffee and if you're also trying to get caught up on your reading you can do a reading sprint with me take the towel off of my hair the bad news is I'm not actually going to do my hair but what are you gonna do baby steps right <laughs> but right now I am racing back to my work spot on the couch because I have one more zoom today it's almost six o'clock this is one of my favorite calls every week though I'm in a program with a bunch of other content creators it's like a mastermind group and we just work on our goals our brands bettering our content together so we meet Pretty much every week for an hour to talk about like where we are within like the material that we're working on the goals that we're working on so it's very motivating and today was so gray and rainy i really need some more motivation to finish the rest of today's to-do list all right computer open let's log on to zoom for the hundredth time are you as over all of the video conferencing apps as i am because i don't want to zoom you teams you <laughs> google meet you any of the above i need some serious video tech break asap but yeah i will check in with you all after this call because i want to update you on what i read during my little reading sprint and share something else exciting that happened but first i need to do this meeting. All of the talking for the day it is after eight o'clock it's literally 8 14 i'm done all my zooms i talked to my mother i don't want to talk anymore which is why i'm wrapping up this vlog so i just went and got kava for dinner because i forgot to take out anything to make and i ate my leftover dinner from last night for lunch so kava it is and i honestly could eat kava seven nights a week so i'm not mad but before i wrap up the vlog i wanted to give you a reading update so in that 30 minute reading break i took which granted was a very distracted 30 minute reading break i checked my phone like so many times i should have just put it in the other room i read two chapters and i now feel like i'm getting to the part where it's like it's picking up i can better understand the plot and see where things are going and i'm excited about it so i'm definitely going to stick with song of the forever reigns 
to give a better synopsis of the book now that I'm a little bit further into it basically there is this magical kingdom and within this kingdom there's like a sub kingdom basically a neighborhood in the kingdom at large it's very dangerous to display that you have magical abilities it makes people want to basically make you squash out your powers but in this little subset kingdom magic thrives and you're able to practice your magic and fully like live your true self basically within that smaller kingdom there is a trio of three sisters who each have different magic abilities and in this book we're following the youngest sister her name is lark her longer name is i will put it on the screen but i cannot figure out how i'm supposed to pronounce it but in the book they call her lark so we're just gonna call her lark so she's the youngest of the three sisters and her magical gift is basically she's basically a siren but not like a sea creature so when she sings or just like emits certain sounds like if she screams or groans or hums or something she has the power to captivate and destroy um, an opponent so basically when the book starts she's just gone through this year where she had to go out into like the kingdom at large and live without magic and the point of that is to understand that your gift is a gift and that we need to walk among people who aren't gifted and understand how they live so that you're able to properly use your magic so she's returning home after that year and she met a guy when she was on her way back home ended up i'm not going to say what she had to do because i feel like that could low-key be a spoiler maybe i don't know it's very early in the book but she meets a guy along the way and then finds out that that guy is going to be reappearing soon and she doesn't understand or doesn't know like how that's going to play out so it's getting interesting. I really like the writing so far. EJ Mello's writing is usually very solid for me. So I'm excited to continue on the book and see how I like it and if I want to read the rest of the series. In other good news, today is Thursday, which is the day that episodes of my podcast come out. And today was actually the last episode of season one, which is crazy. We've been podcasting for like six months and I'm so proud of the show. I'm so excited for what's to come for the show. But we got some stats in and found out that as of today, the podcast officially has over 10,000 downloads. Really? 10,000 downloads, which is amazing. I'm super proud of it. I feel like sometimes when like things happen, I get really hesitant to kind of like toot my own horn but I'm very proud of the podcast I'm so happy that people have received it well and that it's helped people that they've enjoyed listening to it it's entertained people and season two is already shaping out to be so amazing <sighs> so yeah I'm very proud of that I'm also super excited to take a break from it so I get a couple weeks off before we start going back into a regular recording schedule and we'll start putting episodes out again in October. I explained all of this in the recent episode that just came out which kind of just explains the previous season and what we're going to be doing moving forward. So shout out to the entire thank you for asking team. I really appreciate it and I can't wait to see what is to come in season two. Now I'm going to eat my kava and I'm going to either watch YouTube, catch up on some YouTube videos, or I'm gonna watch that Lifetime Harry and Meghan movie. I actually started it yesterday, but I was too distracted to pay attention to it. Um, the beginning of it is incredibly intense, like for no reason. If you listen to the Royally Obsessed podcast, they do spoil in this recent episode that came out today. They spoil the beginning of it, but I think that there should have been some kind of like, disclaimer i'm just gonna i'm gonna spoil the beginning of the movie just because i feel like it caught me off guard and i think it could catch other people off guard so the movie is harry and megan as they're trying to like leave the palace that's what the movie is called like royal escape i think so the film starts with the scene of diana's accident in paris like you're in the tunnel after the car has crashed and you see all the paparazzi coming to take pictures and then you see Harry walk up to the car and instead of it being his mother in the car it's Megan and it's just like a very jarring and intense scene the way that it's like done and shot and I'm like that you could have like let a girl know but now I'm letting y'all know so now you know all right I hope you all enjoyed this vlog I'm excited to be vlogging I just you know vlogs are always my favorite videos and they're the videos that you all seem to watch the most as well so thanks for hanging out with me for a couple of days I hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to subscribe thumbs up the video leave me a comment share the video with a friend and if you've made it to this point in the vlog in the vlog in the vlog 
use this emoji and here's our final question tell me something that you are nostalgic for me personally i'm nostalgic for going to like a radio shack or a sam goody and buying a cd when my favorite artist drops an album and knowing that in that cd the front jacket is going to have a poster those were the days <laughs> so let me know what you are nostalgic for and i will see you all in the next video Thank you.